What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, Evil Tactics here, and today we are testing to see if we can recreate that front pen that we got in the T-34 with a Tiger and a smattering of other tanks. We test it in the T-34, we test it with the M4, the Sherman 75, and it seems like the only two tanks that can actually hurt a tiger from the front that are medium tanks is the regular m4 and the t34 so hope you guys enjoy this this is some new information we just found out enjoy the video stay tactical my friends you know what let me try something don't shoot oh you're good Did we manage just to get a one in a million shot? Pretty much, dude. Well, actually, you're kind of at level ground. I need to be. Yeah, aim. At I'm, ra I'm raising the gun. I'm raising the gun, basically, so that you'll have. You'll have. Hold on, I want to see. Jump out now. I want to see where it's located. Yeah, I'm at two mil dots. Pretty much aiming down the barrel. Oh, that was almost right on. Oh, right where you want to be. Yeah, I just I just adjusted it ever so slightly up. Oh, oh, here you go. So that's the top of the gun. Is what I'm saying. That's the you know the top of the breach. Right, let's try this again. Almost down the barrel. Right, but the, the, you're talking about the drop from 200 meters puts it yeah. underneath. There you go. There you go. You did it. All right. I am not gonna adjust the gun at all. Yeah, Let's see, see what two one is. In. Yeah, see. No. Mm. It's like once it gets damaged, it's. You might be damaging the same spot again. It might not be enough to kill it. Maybe. I mean. Well, I mean, no, because right every now. time the. Oh, Jay. Oh, you got it. Two shots. Two shot. <laughs> kill the tiger from the front. But, I mean, the fact that... The fact that you just killed a tiger with a T-34 from the front is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Look at this shit. I mean... I mean, that was pretty awesome. That was totally awesome. It can be done. It, it can, it can be done. in certain circumstances. Yep. What now I'd like to... What I'd like to do is test... If there's any other weaknesses, like turn the turret 90 degrees and see if you can hit the turret ring. Because look at look look. If you look from it's the front, more exposed you, from the side. Right, exactly. Look how much more exposed it is from the side. You oh, aim underneath yeah. those treads. Yeah. You might be able to put another round in there. Hold on, I'm gonna go see if I can get another tank. Hold on. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. Very interesting. Well, okay, just fire so away. I'll tell you where you hit. Close, a little higher. A little higher, okay. Okay. Almost a little lower. A little Drop lower. It. Drop it a hair. Ooh, right there. All right, let me aim to the right a little bit. I'm gonna aim at the one on 219. Yeah, you might ricochet on that. A little up. Close. That was right on the ring, man. Right on the ring. No, if anything, a little, little lower. So here we're testing it, and we just cannot seem to get it to pen at any angle. So if it's not front facing, you're not gonna pen. Don't even bother trying. Oh yeah, see, that was on the gun. That was good, but you're not ricocheting down. You're ricocheting yeah. to the side. Ricochet. Okay. Nope. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the M4A1 Sherman test against the Tiger tank. So far, the results are pretty interesting. So let's see how we do. Yes, you don't think killed, like, killed me, motherfucker? Yeah, that way if you get a ricochet, it doesn't. All right, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Round out. <laughs> Ricochet! Oh, first shot! First shot, dude! First shot, motherfucker! Oh my god, I got exactly where to hit! Alright, I'm gonna go repair. Yeah, go repair, because if I can do that again, then we've got we've got a viable situation here. Because that is totally doable. Alright, round out. Alright, little high or little yep. low. Uh that was high. Oh, <laughs> that sounds so violent. There you go. There we go. Oh my god, I totally have it. At 250 meters, you put the crosshairs in the barrel itself. Oh god, no. And so that put... Let me get in the tank and I'll tell you. Oh my god. So if you are looking at your health meter... Yeah. The, the white the whole, line. Whole... Yep, the white line is at the second wheel from the front of the All tank. Right. All right. So basically, it took eighty percent of your hull strength out. Oh yeah, we're um, repairing. It's at eighty-five yep, percent. Yep. yep. Thanks it took about eighty percent of your eighty percent of your hull strength out. God damn. That is fucking awesome. You can kill a tiger with a Sherman hit it one more time and see if I can do it on the first shot. Alright, hold. Yep, tell me when you're clear. Hit it! Nope. nope. Low. Alright, let's see. You gotta, I mean, Just I literally have it right hair, here. yep. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay, I've got it. It's... Alright. Put this round right over his head, though. Too <laughs> <laughs> here, bunch of sick fucks. Oh, dude, I put it right over his fucking head. Fuck this. One squirrel, one. <laughs> he's literally. He's gonna come shoot at us. And if he does, if he oh, should, if he dude, starts that shooting, tank, that Stuart's not gonna do anything to us. Yeah, he can if he gets behind you. Kill him. And see if he if he aims at us. <laughs> I think Evil and I both have our fucking. Oh, we're both aimed at the same spot, Evil. Oh. Oh, he's thinking about it. Alright, bring a 75. Run, up. little Stuart, run! <laughs> cannot believe you want to see a short spin so wait how why are you shooting machine guns at it i just tracked them oh <laughs> <laughs> jumbo right. 75 first first shot out Where was that? A little low? Uh, well, I'm prone in the road, so let me take a look. Uh, a little high. Yeah, a little high. Yeah, a little high. Jumbo 75 versus... Okay. You got a right. ricochet, but... Got a ricochet. Yeah. No pain. Low. Oh, yep, I see it. I got to aim right at the top of the, the, the muzzle brake where the barrel opens up and the muzzle brake starts. Pretty much, yep. Uh, lower again. Interesting. That was right on the mantle. All right, so a little high then.
Oh no, that was right at the bottom of the turret where the ring meets. Perfect. That was a ricochet, but not a pen. Yeah, we'll see. And this thing doesn't have anywhere near the amount of ammo. Come on, killer. Ron Jeremy, that tank. Now, did you guys ever play Men of War Assault Squad? Yes. Oh. I love the way <clears throat> the armor works in that game. Like, you've got all the penetration and stuff like that, but then if you keep drilling the same spot on the tank, you can eventually penetrate the armor. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, but you know how you know how hard that would be in real life? Oh, I know, but that's Go what I'm saying. It was, it's not easy in the game either. Hair. So, pretty much what we come to find out is the Jumbo 75 just can't pen the dang thing from the front like the m4 can i don't know if it has something to do with the um barrel length on the 75 because it's you know it's it's the short stubby one and it has to do with muzzle velocity and you know all that but yeah so end case scenario that we found out is the uh t34 and the m4 can pen the tiger under the barrel All right, but it's a heck of a shot to hit shot to yeah, all right guys hope you guys enjoyed that if you did hit that like button and if you'd like to see more content and get notified hit that bell and subscribe i'll see you next time stay tactical my friends yeah you are. You're hitting it in the yeah, same yeah, fucking yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just not penning. Like we said, lower velocity. Could be. The shorter the barrel, the lower the freaking muzzle velocity.